I'm going to discuss how to determine what attribute chart to use. Uh, so if the question uh, while we inspect a piece of um, product, for example, these uh, screws, uh, if we inspect each of these and try to figure out whether this screw is good or bad, uh, so you have two options. These type of situations follow binomial distribution. In that case, we do the proportion chart uh, called p-chart in short. Uh, p-chart and the proportion chart, uh, basically the uh, number of defect per one unit. So if you inspect 1,000 and you find 10 defective, so 10 divided by 1,000 would be the proportion. And sometimes it is a um, little bit difficult to um, understand, comprehend the number, decimal numbers. So uh, what people have done later created NP chart. NP is the total number inspected times the uh, proportion defective. So this NP basically gives some number of screws. Say in that um, inspected number, we found two or three defectives or five defects. Instead of saying 0 0.001 defective, which is sometimes a little bit difficult to comprehend. So P chart, if the distribution follows binomial, uh, if the distribution is binomial, then we do P chart. And in P chart, when the sample size is same, we can uh, multiply that proportion defective times the sample size then we can see how many defectives in each of those machines imagine that these are coming from different machines but we are inspecting the same number if it's not same number then we cannot use NP then the comparison would not be fair because if you inspect uh, a thousand screws from a machine and then you inspect 10 screws from a machine and then it normally the one if you inspect more you get more defective so in that case NP chart really uh, not that uh, suitable so um, P chart uh, if the sample size is different if you inspect uh, different samples uh, number of samples from different lot then definitely it's a P chart situation now C chart on the other hand, things that follow traditionally Poisson distribution. Now we have shown before there is no difference between Poisson and uh, binomial. However, traditionally Poisson um, view things like um, uh, we don't know when my car will not start again. Um, we don't know I'm, I'm inspecting this large car I'm not sure I'm gonna get uh, when I will get defect and how many defects I will I get um, things like that situation for example ships coming in a port um, there are lots of environmental factors so we don't know when exactly a ship will come uh, in the past these days these are more consistent so they kind of deviate the, from the poison this dead but in the past it used to be kind of unknown poison is some kind of memoryless property uh, imagine that you are standing on a cross section or an intersection and trying to count number of brown cars you don't know when a number of brown car will arrive in that intersection things like that uh, viewed as a poisson so when it comes to a large um, quantity inspection big car and trying to find how many problems or defects we have in this car a big ship a big aeroplane uh, in that kind of situation is a poisson distribution and poisson distribution you we uh, uh, we do C chart. Uh, basically, the C chart is the Poisson mean. So um, that's the parameter for Poisson. So this is called C chart when you do a large quantity inspection. Now, it could happen that instead of inspecting one, we are inspecting five cars, seven aeroplanes, things like that, then um, to make a fair comparison, it is better to, if we inspect five ships and then see what are the 
defects on an average each of these sheep produce from the same manufacturer so in that case uh, if you have to have a fair comparison then if you divide by five so make a unit inspection so you chart is basically an unit inspection but for Poisson distribution I hope this clear um, so um, binomial uh, is basically when uh, we are interested in a small just a single number inspection and then see how is there it is defective or not that is a situation for binomial and we do plus uh, bino p chart or np chart np chart if the sample size fixed if it's not then we do p chart c chart if a large quantity inspection trying to find so many defects in one single unit that is a c chart if you do one unit if you inspect more than one is not known how many then you can do it per unit inspection that gives it's it's kind of valid that there is a little bit more if you inspect more uh, that summarizes when to use p chart u chart and c chart